What's up guys? Welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be talking about Madden 15. We've got some more news and we've got a, some more topics and uh, I really am going to be doing uh, over the course, uh, what, what's probably happening here uh, is we're getting a lot of news leaked every day and I want to cover all the news that I can because I think that that's, uh, that is the most important that I can uh, video that I can do uh, to help you guys kind of get ready for it. Uh, so I'm going to be covering news so as news comes out we're just going to cut one of my tips and we'll just move that to the next day uh, because but I do want to keep all my other videos uh, going uh, but the tips can kind of we can kind of bring those back just a little bit because we give you out so much other videos and I, I feel like the news is a little bit more important in the long run because with what we learn about Madden 15 you can use that to prepare for Madden uh, for the next Madden and there will still be tips I'm not saying that I'm not saying I'm gonna put out you know set every every day I'm gonna put out news about Madden 15 uh, unless that's available and if that's available I might consider doing that uh, I think that the offensive defensive scheme of the week is something that guys have had a lot of uh, success with so I'm gonna keep doing those videos keep cranking that out and I think also a lot of people like the you know, Muck Game of the Week or the Rookie Spotlight or something like that that we're going to be doing. So all that stuff's going to keep uh, what's going to kind of start to kind of fall back a little bit is the tips just because partially due to the time of the year. And it's not because I don't want to do it. It's just because I think that there's other things that I can be talking about that are a little bit more relevant. So with all that in mind, uh, I want to talk about today uh, the Madden 15 cover winner. And I want to talk about what that means for the game. I want to talk about what, uh, what a lot of people don't understand about the cover vote that I think that is, is kind of missed in translation because you think think of the cover oh it's just a cover vote or you think of the 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 images on the on the thing and you're like oh it's just a it's just a picture it doesn't mean anything and i think you guys miss the little bitty details that 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 we as people who have been playing the game for years uh, and i'm not i'm not trying to discriminate and say you, your opinion doesn't matter it, it it does and i agree with you to an extent that you know it is it is a cover vote and it, you know it's really just kind of something they do for fun or it is really you know just a picture it's just something they do to kind of hype up the game I agree with you on those states uh, but I, I don't necessarily think that that's all that we're seeing here so really quickly here I just want to read you a quick little article I read this morning on eSports.com I want to just read you a little excerpt from that article but it says that uh, Richard Sherman is a fantastic cover athlete selection by the fans. Said Anthony Stevenson, Vice President of Global Marketing for EA Sports. Defense is a big focus for Madden NFL 15. And Sherman is one of the brightest defensive stars in the NFL. He shares the same energy and passion for the game as our Legion of Madden fans. So what you just heard there was an excerpt from an article EA Sports wrote on the Madden uh, gameplay article update with the Madden 15 cover vote. And it was basically they wrote that, uh, I think, the day after Sherman was selected the cover athlete. And I want to break that down a little bit, break that statement down, and, and I really want to focus in on one thing. And I think you guys all know what I'm going to focus on. But defense is a big focus for Madden NFL 15. Now, I, I wish that I could, if I had more time, uh, as you guys know, I've been really kind of sick this weekend. I talked about that earlier this morning. Uh, and I really apologize that some of these videos are going to go out. Like, I think I'm going to try to get them out by 1, 3, 5, and 7. But I really do apologize for that. But that just is what it is. But back to this, um, I really hope that they're right. And. The reason is I've been playing a lot of next gen lately. Uh, when I'm sick, I, I can't sleep and I can't do nothing, so I just play video games. And so I was playing literally Ultimate Team all day yesterday, pretty much all day. And one of the things that I was struggling with was stopping like those 99 dudes, but I couldn't, but they could stop me fine. So I could run. It was it was it was almost like this. It's like I, this is how I felt: is that I could run the same play that they were running, and I I could even have better user skill and better reads, but it it didn't matter. They would just crush me in the backfield, or my, none of my routes would work, or any something like that. That's how I felt. I'm not saying that I, you know, didn't play bad because I did play bad. But with that in mind, we take a look at this man fifteen. Defense is a big focus for Madden NFL 15. What are we? What's the problem on next gen? If I could break the next gen Madden down into three problems, I would say the number one problem in next gen is the mechanics of the game, and I mean by that is the the mechanics of the way that the game flows. 
in that sense, it's it's a very I feel like it's a very choppy game at times, and I feel like the defense just doesn't always react the best. And I think a lot of people would agree with me on that statement. Something another thing that people say, which I I am really starting to agree with more and more, is when you're in position to make the play, please let me make the play. For example, I was playing and I was going up and I had like a 94 overall corner on one side and he was going up against like an 80 overall Jerry Rice and literally they just lobbed the ball up one on one and my guy had beat him to the spot but my guy could not didn't even react to the ball at all and his guy just mossed me up top for six and I know that that's a I know that there should be plays in the game where you can take advantage of that. I agree with that, but I feel like there, it, it's just kind of every, it's just kind of a random advantage. So, I think what most people are expecting from Madden 15 is that they fix that and they they fix the fact that on defense when you're in man coverage that the man coverage reacts a little better. Now I'm not saying. Now this is another topic that I I am really kind of interested to hear. Uh, we we would brace debate at some point. Uh, Two men under is is really good, and I mean that because of the way that the, the the play you don't have to have anybody good to play it. So like I could line up Richard Sherman ninety nine overall, and I could line up like Chris Cook seventy two overall, and they could they would play the same at two men under. Now that's a bold statement, but if you if you don't believe me, watch watch how long the press holds. It's a special type of press you get out of only two men under, but everybody has the same press. So you don't even need press to press, if that makes any sense at all. So I think I, I really would like to see that that change, but I don't know that it will. Uh, but I would like to see the, the press rating really matter a little bit more. And then lastly, uh, I would I would really like to see... I really, I really would like to see the blitzing improved a little bit. I don't really appreciate the psychic offensive linemen, uh, but I think that we kind of... I, I also think that it's kind of our own fault. But I, at the same time, it's not our own fault. But I think it's our own fault because you know guys like me and other guys who spend hours a week, like well, I'd say hours a day, especially when we're really into the game, uh, practice mode and practicing plays and tips and trying to get the best pressure in the, in the game. And typically, we'll find something. You know, typically we'll find some kind of blitz, something, and sometimes they're legitimate blitzes. You know, blitzes like the Will Punch 3 Seam, the Under Sam Shark, those are decent. But blitzes like the uh, A Gap blitzes and stuff like that, they're not necessarily uh, what, what people would, I guess, categorize as sim blitzes. So, I think that we kind of shot ourselves in the foot with that. And so, EA is pretty much just trying to take any kind of blitzing out of the game, which I think is a little bit over exaggerated way to go about it. I don't know what they could do to fix it. I don't know how to code or any of that. I don't know what they're gonna do. Uh, all I know is that all I know is this one line from the article: defense is a big focus for Madden NFL 15. And I think that I think that this is a point that I want to drive home. I think people would be fine if a gap blitzes were taken out of the game. I think people would be fine if you know two man edge pressure was taken out of the game. Where I think people get frustrated is the fact that the basic mechanics of defense have not worked in Madden for a long time. Most people say most people say Madden didn't, and this is another thing that this is something that I really get upset with, and and I know that this is going to be a controversial topic, and it's and I I don't necessarily have the backing to say this statement, but I want to say it anyway. People say that Madden 10 was the best Madden of all time. People say that it was. People say that there was nothing wrong with the game. That's so bullcrap. It, it's so bullcrap, guys. People. It, it, every year you get that. Every year you're going to get that. Every year there's going to be something in the game that you don't like. But are you going in the right direction? I think they're going in the right direction, to be honest. Uh, especially with this season. And I, I really am excited to see what happens. I really appreciate the fact that Sherman won the cover vote. We're going to talk a little bit more about this stuff uh, throughout the week here. But it's the same 2K argument that's been around for years. Oh, 2K was the best game ever. Every game is the best game ever once you go to a new game and find a problem. It's so ridiculous to me how you could sit there and say that. I mean, maybe it was a better game. Maybe, maybe NFL 2K, whatever it was, six. I don't even know what year it was. That that's how irrelevant it was to me at that time because I was so young. 
but ESPN NFL 2K6 or whatever it was. And I had I think I had that game actually. But it was so long ago that I don't even remember. But have that game versus Madden 06. You put the two to two side to side. Maybe you're right. Maybe the 2K game was better than Madden. But you can't tell me that that 2K game was better than Madden 12, Madden 13, Madden 25, Madden 15, Madden 10, Madden 11. It's just not. I guarantee you that if, and that's another thing, I bet that if tournament style players played ESPN NFL 2K, 2K6, they would, they would really find something in the game. Because that's what tournament players do. They go through, they spend as much time as they can to find the best possible plays to help them win. And so if that means that I have a two-man A-gap blitz, I'm going to run it because it helps me win. My point by saying that is not to get aroused a debate or something. It's just to simply drive the point home that Madden 15 is going to improve on Madden 25. Whether we whether it's where we want it to be or not, it's going in the right direction, making defense a focus. I really hope that they're right. I really hope that what they're saying is genuine and it's not fluff and it's not that crap that we've gotten over the last couple of years. And we're going to talk a little bit more about the problems with EA Sports um, and kind of what's happening uh, because I do want to touch on that because I, I think it's an issue that a lot of us who just play the game for fun don't really see uh, behind the scenes stuff and I really want to dive into that a little bit more because I think that EA Sports is doing a lot better of a job than we give them credit for uh, but we'll see we'll talk about that later but anyways as far as today's video goes guys I just wanted to talk a little bit about Richard Sherman I really wanted to focus on that one line from the article talk a little bit about the gameplay talk a little bit about tournament style versus sim style and uh, we'll talk to you guys in the comments below uh, but real quickly here I'm going to close it with this statement if you are going to be a sim style player in Madden NFL 25 next gen you will never stop the run in this game I hope you guys appreciate this commentary thanks a lot for your time